Well, hi everyone. Tyler with Blue Planet Surf here in Haleiwa. Welcome to our new shop. Let me give you a tour of the boardroom. Come with me. You know, Blue Planet Surf just took over this shop about two months ago. It used to be known as Tropical Rush. And the previous owners owned this shop for 27 years. In that amount of time, there were quite a few boards that were collected here. Come take a look. Some of those boards have some historical value to them as well. Let's talk about some of them. The first notable board, anytime you're talking about North Shore surfboards or North Shore surf in general, you have to talk about Dahui. This is the Dahui logo right here, which stood out to us when we saw this board because it's not a sticker. This is glassed in on this board. What that means is this board belonged to a Dehui member. When we looked closer at this board, we found that this board belonged to Johnny Boy Gomes. Johnny Boy was born in Makaha on the west side of Oahu, and he was a crazy Dehui member, mainly known for his wild antics in the surf. He was arrested a couple times, between the age of 16 and 18, he was imprisoned, but he was also an incredible power surfer. When he got out of prison at the age of 18, he came bursting out of the gates with all this raw talent as a power surfer. He generated his energy into the surf, which always treated him best. In 1997, Johnny Boy Gomes won the Pipe Masters contest and has forever been sealed into the history books of surfing. This board here was shaped by Mauricio Gill. Mauricio is from Rio de Janeiro. He went to school at University of Business in Rio, Rio de Janeiro and eventually moved to California to study under David Takayama. Mauricio Gill moved from California to Australia where he then partnered up with Mr. Cloud, and they together formed the Aloha Australia brand. Mr. Cloud and Mauricio Gill, they worked together on the Aloha boards, so it's wonderful to have this board here. There's a collaboration between Mauricio, Cloud, and Johnny Boy Gomes. Such an incredible board. This board was certainly shaped as a, a pipe, probably a pipe gun. Uh, maybe for sunset, wonderful historical value to it. Glassed in thruster. Uh, this is uh, 7 4 by 18 and a half. And as we continue, I just want to thank my co worker, Sean Von Strotter, for helping me find these boards and helping me clean them up to show to you guys. Next, we have a board from a surfer who is currently on the tour. Connor Coffin just placed fourth on the world tour in 2021. And this board was shaped for Connor uh, from Jeff Bushman. This is a 610. We can see it has Connor's Quicksilver logo on it. Uh, it does have Enjoy written on the bottom when Jeff was finishing it up. Super cool board. Uh, Jeff Bushman rarely puts the full dimensions on his boards as a local North Shore shaper, uh, originally from California, but now lives here on the North Shore. Jeff has made a lot of boards for a lot of really good surfers. And this was a cool find considering Connor is still on the tour right now. Connor is uh, in his 20s and he's from Santa Barbara, California. This board was probably shaped uh, maybe for pipe or sunset if it was back in the day when he was working on the Triple Crown, but now he's definitely on tour, so it's possible this board was shaped for pipe. One of the surfers that Connor surfed against is Ace Buchanan. Ace is from Australia, South New South Wales. Uh, this is, uh, we can tell that this is Ace's board. 
uh, because it's from JS Industries and it also has Ace's name written on the bottom uh, from the shapers and glassers here. It says uh, 6, 4, 18 and a half and then Ace's name right there at the bottom. This board has a little bit of damage on top. It's possible that this was just during transit. You can see his sponsor stickers. Really cool to have Ace's board in here because um, he is still on tour. And uh, although he did just get injured in the 2021 Billabong Pipe Masters, uh, but he did go into Instagram to tell all of his followers that he will continue to surf on the world tour. Also a side note, Connor Coffin uh, just released his very first musical album. If you guys wanna go check it out, Connor Coffin released an album called Connor Coffin and Friends. Yeah. Check. We have another board from Jeff Bushman here. Being a legendary North Shore surfer, he had a great reputation for making boards for the tour and for big name surfers. Uh, this board here, it also has Jeff Bushman's classic Enjoy signature. And at the bottom of the tail, it says for Rudy. That is for Rudy Palm Boom. And Rudy is from South Africa. His favorite surfing location is Cave Rock, which is just north of J Bay. And Rudy was on the tour during 2011, and he probably came over to the North Shore to compete, resourced a local shaper, Mr. Bushman, and had this board shaped for competition. This is a 7-0. Historical value is um, unprecedented. Glassed in honeycomb fins. Right next to that, we have another board from Jeff Bushman. It's a 7-6 for Dave O. It says Dave O right on the top. Looking into history, that would be Chris Davidson also known as Dave O. Chris had a pretty bad reputation on tour. He had the vote for best drinker on tour. Uh, he also got a DUI in his time, but Dave O surfed in the late 90s and early 2000s against big names like Kelly Slater. He built a reputation for himself of Dr. Damage, even called himself that, mainly because of his reputation out of the water. His best results on the tour, he took third place. That was his best result. Still really cool to have a board like this in the shop. Very old school, someone loved this board, had a few repairs. Dave almost had enjoyed this at Pipe. We have another board from Jeff Bushman. And this one is for Poncho Sullivan. Poncho was born on Kauai. He loves to garden when he's not surfing. And he's a wonderful human being. His reputation is outstanding, especially here on the North Shore. He purchased a property which used to be just a shack. He tore down the shack, built his dream home. And Mr. Bushman shaped him this board. It says on the bottom for pipe. Ozzy here wants to surf it in the middle of the night, which I don't blame him. Let's take a look at this board. This is, this says right here, pipe, PS, Poncho Sullivan, con bottom, concave bottom. It says 610, Poncho. Beautiful board. Honeycomb glassed in fins. Incredible to have a Poncho Sullivan board. Mr. Bushman is well known for his collaborations with Poncho, specifically on their Sunset series. And it just so happened that this board that we have here with shape for pipe. Let's go take a look at some of the boards that we have in the Volcom retail shop. 
Follow me. All right, welcome to the Volcom Room here at Blue Planet Haleiwa. We've got multiple boards in this room that have some historical value. I'd like to show you a really cool piece of work from Dick Brewer. Dick started a surf shop back in Haleiwa, one of the first surf shops to be here on the North Shore, and he started shaping boards. He learned in California, originally from Minnesota, and when he shaped the gun back in 1964, it created shockwaves throughout surfing community. This board made history at Pipe. It was the fastest board at the time, revolutionary in its shape. And I just wanna show you this really cool surfboard that we have here on the wall. Uh, this is a yellow gun. Uh, I'm gonna bring it off the wall for you so I can show it to you up close. Incredible. It doesn't have any dimensions on it. Solid stringer with the red plumeria. Such history. This is a legendary piece of work. I'm gonna flip it over for you so you can take a look at the, the writing there. I'm gonna bring it closer to you as well. Come check this out, right here. Dick Brewer. Looks like this is who it was shaped for at the time. An incredible piece of history here, Dick Brewer gun. Uh, as a shaper, Dick influenced the surfing world greatly. And it's just an honor to have one of his work of arts here in the shop. Uh, that fin is quite thicker than normal. It is a Glaston center fin, which all of the guns back in the day would have had that Glaston center fin. To me, as a modern day surfer, that's a pretty thick fin, but I do like it. Another really cool board we have here in the Volker room is from Pat Rawson who made his name on the North Shore of Oahu. He's originally from Playa del Rey in California. This is his 10-4 classic, which was shaped for Ricardo. Ricardo Palmar lives here on the North Shore. He came and visited the shop, told me about his history with this board at sunset. Rode some unbelievable waves with this board. It is now hanging above the entryway here at the Volcom shop as an honor to Pat Ross and, and his contributions to the surfing community. You guys, it doesn't get much better than this. This board is from Shane Dorian, who spent 11 years on the world tour competing against surfing's best. He only retired in 2003 to chase after big waves after he got addicted by taking second place at the Eddie I. Cow contest at Waimea Bay in 2001. Since then, he's won awards like Wave of the Year, in the 2015 Big Wave World Contest. That ride was at Puerto Escondido. And he did the same thing in 2016 at Peahi at Jaws. He also invented the safety vest for big wave surfers, helping keep big wave surfers safe in events of two wave hold downs. This man is a legend when it comes to surfing. And we've got one of his boards here. This board is a Shane Dorian. Let's take it down. It belongs on the wall, but I want to show it to you up close. If you give you guys a nice, nice experience. We can see right here on the center stringer. It says Shane Dorian. And this is the shaper. I can't make that out, but that's okay. This is a 7-0, 18 and 1-8, two and a half. Awesome flames, just a historical piece. What does it say on the top here? Hawaiian sleds, there you go. We saved the best for last. I honestly can't even believe that I'm holding a board like this. This board is from DHD. Darren Handles shaped this board. He's an Australian shaper. At first, I just thought this board was in great condition and that it could be uh, good for resale until we took a closer look at the bottom. When we looked at the bottom, we saw MF and also some handwriting which says for Mick. This board was shaped by DHD for world champion Mick Fanning. Mick Fanning is a three-time world champion. He has won 22 professional competitions. 
he rode this board, probably here at Pipeline in a contest. We can see that this board has some damage on the tail and that it was repaired with some carbon fiber, which is most likely why this board was retired. Incredible to have a piece of surfing history here in the shop. This board's dimensions is a 610 by 18 and a half and two and three eighths. DHD Darren handles still shapes to this day, but his shaping factory did burn down in 2019. A lot of history of McFanning's boards and shapes burnt in that fire. This model is a DX3. We have this board hanging in the wall. If you guys want to come see it, uh, it is on display and it it has made, uh, it gives me chills. So I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. I know we had tons of fun making this video for you and finding these boards and learning about them and researching them and sharing all of this wonderful information with you. I hope this encourages you guys to come to the shop and check them out. What was your favorite board that we talked about? Leave us a comment down below and definitely hit the thumbs up button if you like this video, share it with your friends. We hope to see you guys up here in Hala Eva at Blue Planet Adventure. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you out on the water. Aloha.